All right. No theatrics today. We're gonna try to get in and out of here as quickly as possible. What are we gonna find? It's exciting. Is it gonna be a big fail? Or are we gonna see something cool? Oh, looks like we have some unwanted guests in here. Hornet's nest in here. Huh, on the top. What a jerk, little hornets. So, get rid of the hornet's nest, or yellow jacket or something. So first I'm going to check on these feeders here. Let's see what they look like. Well, they look to be all empty. So that's good. I'm just kind of smoking the entrance. I'm doing this in midday here. There's a lot of bees out and about foraging, coming in and out. So they don't seem to be really bothering me too bad um, I was told not to do this in the middle like in the morning or something when all the bees are in the hives so I chose kind of an afternoon cloudy um, day but uh, anyway what to do so goals today are just to kind of figure out what's going on in here and I may move a few top bars around and move a follower here we'll see how brave I get so I'm going to start, let's get some equipment out here, a little brush and my handy dandy hive tool, still has a price tag on it. And let's just check, I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down just a couple top bars from the beginning of the, where I added them all and just see if I can pop it loose. Okay, so here's one. It doesn't I don't feel any weight on it, so I'm thinking All right. So what do we have here? Well, a bunch of bees hanging out on a top bar. Nothing too extremely exciting there. All right, so it's been three weeks, almost four, since I put them in here. We've had great weather. It's been perfect. Everything's flowering, and look at this. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I can see all the honey in there. That's not attached real good at the top. Oh, and I think that's somebody's gonna have to correct me the lighter colored caps are honey and the darker colored caps are brood I think could be completely backwards on that but all right all right all right all right I get it you don't like me go gorge on honey or whatever you're supposed to do one just like flew up in my face and looked me in the eyes they're 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 making the comb you know just perfectly down in these things it's not all the way from one edge to the other. Most of the other ones look just like this in here. So this is the fourth one in a row that they have built. So there's one, two, three, four of them. I'm going to take a peek at the other ones. And I'm going to get you guys right in the hive here in a minute. I'm not looking for the queen. I don't... Uh, Let's just assume she's in there because I see brood and stuff. So what I think is brood anyway, from an amateur perspective. Okay, just separating these out a little bit. Oh yeah, the kids are. I think this is cool. I wasn't sure if I should have the kids out here while I was doing this. Oh, this one's heavy. This is a heavy one. Look at that one's almost all the way across. Okay, so I, again, guys, look at. I, I see a lot of of dark K 
caps and then some lighter caps and the lighter caps look to me at the top here like they're filled with honey so I'm gonna go with that so they're they're doing their thing they're laying eggs the Queen's doing what she's supposed to do here's the first top bar okay so let's check out the first one so this is what I assume would be the one that has has the most work done to it oh yeah is that cool it's not completely attached at the top though so it just doesn't feel safe to me man I'd hate to drop this whole thing all right being careful here okay so we've got a little bit of comb attached to the side here I'm gonna try to my smoke still going here all right let's get a little smoke in here I've got all these wood chips around the beehive, which actually works out perfectly for the smoker. I just, when I run out of smoke, I just grab some wood chips and throw them in there. Here's my follower board. This was the feeder board. And you can see here, um, man, I hope you guys got a good visual of those combs. I'm going to try to get this up a little bit here. So see they're building right on the follower board, which we don't want. So I'm going to have to take this out and uh, deal with that. I have to teach them, say, bad bees or something and not have them do that. So here's my feeder. They're all empty. And oh, hey, oh, now they're mad. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take that. It's got honey on it. You see that? Look at that. That's honey coming right off of there. I'm going to save that. That's cool. Alright, so follower board. My little follower or feeder board here is coming out. And we're going to close this sucker right off with the top bars. Uh oh, I don't have enough. Yes, I do. Perfect. I'll do that. So I just have the one entrance open still, and I think that's plenty sufficient. Very cool little checkup. Uh, this is my first time owning bees, as many of you know who are following along. Uh, again, three to four weeks since we put the bees in the hive, and I really couldn't be happier. I, I don't, uh, I don't know, you know, how far along they should be or shouldn't be, um, but there's about five uh, top bars that have a good amount of comb on them, and they're starting on a, a, a sixth. And so, uh, to me, that uh, that seems like a pretty healthy hive. We've had great weather. There's a lot of flowering, uh, you know, flowers and other flowering trees and stuff like that around right now. So they they should be just uh, cranking in the nectar and pollen and uh, um, and making all kinds of honey. So that's the idea. Um, and uh, you know, I haven't really had to do anything with the hive since I put them in there. The the only thing I did was take that queen box out uh, a week or a few days later after I put them in. Um, and since then, they've just kind of sat back here, and we've come back and kind of enjoyed them and washed them and and things like that. So um, the uh, the next thing I'll probably do is give them another month and check up on them again if they've done, you know, five uh, about five top bars in uh, in about three or four weeks. Then I can expect that they'll probably have filled half the hive in another month. Uh, and then in that case, I'll have to move my follower board down and uh, get some more top bars in there. Uh, so we'll see if we can get this thing filled up. It's a pretty good sized top bar hive actually, um, bigger than most of the other ones I've seen. So for this thing, if they fill this whole thing up with comb and honey, uh, they should be set for the winter. Um, and uh, that's something I'll talk about later. But uh, um, I'll continue to do these updates anytime I get in the hive or do anything with the bees, uh, just so that uh, you guys who are looking to get them can kind of follow along and uh, see what I'm doing. I'm by no means an expert, but uh, you know, I like to get into these things and just do it and uh, learn along the way. So hopefully you guys can share in that experience. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll end with a little bit of uh, sharing in the spoils of our, our bees here. Uh, the little bit of comb I took out 
uh, we'll see what the girls think of that. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, as always. Have a good one. That's okay. Don't worry about it. All right, Summer, put a little bit. That's all honey dripping off there. Taste it. I already taste it. It's awesome. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Oh, that's actually really good. Look at that comb. It's okay. The comb won't hurt can you either. Eat that? You can. I mean, you can chew it. It's just wax. <laughs> what do you guys think? It's good. Really awesome.